Hi, as you saw in the intro, I have a problem with my 20 amp charger here. When the charger is switched on, it is uh, performing its initial self-test. Usually it would start charging and the fan would spin, but the fan stopped and uh, I only have a red blinking LED. So when I had this, when I saw this first time, I immediately uh, sent a message to the seller because these kind of devices, they don't come with a manual. Uh, I wanted to know what this actually means, if the charger is behaving like that. So he sent a message to me that there must be a problem on the DC side. So the charger is trying to start charging, but then is realizing that it cannot push power out. There is two options why this can be. So one is that there is some connection issue on the DC side. So it's kind of an open line there. And the other thing is that the DC side of the charger is burned out. He told me this. I came back to the power wall and funny enough, I did not see it the first time. I saw that the DC breaker of the charger was stripped. Blind can you be uh, to not see that? I have now the chance to check uh, if everything on the charger is is good. So this stage we should actually have uh, still uh, voltage on the charger but also I want to check if there is a short circuit on the DC side or not. This is the situation I found the system in. The charger is actually activated now but we don't have a fan spin and yeah you can see we have red blinking and what I did not see before but of course they should have told already most of the story. I have a tripped DC breaker. So this breaker is a 32 amp breaker for this 20 amp charger. And you see my DC breakers. This one is a, the main breaker is a Thomson, which is a good quality of China. This one here for the other charger is a fail. I think they call it. This is also a good quality breaker, but these other ones I bought in Thailand. The problem with the stuff in Thailand is because they cannot sell expensive items here in the country, they have to buy the cheapest available from China. They will sell it here for like two or three times the price. But that means that the breaker which I bought maybe for three dollars, they have bought for one dollar from China, from China. In China already of course the seller there has doubled the price at least already which means that this breaker by manufacturing maybe cost half a dollar and this is of course no quality so according to the manual the charger should put out maximum voltage it is just not able to push the current somewhere so let's test it measure the voltage here and yes so 58.5 so the charger is uh, happily producing voltage but is just waiting to push it somewhere. I want to now also close the AC breaker and we are going to measure uh, resistance between in plus and minus just to see if there is some sort of short circuit and what do we have here 100 kilo ohms so 100 kilo ohms is far away from any short circuit say the problem is not with the charger at least it can only be a temporary fault so now the question is you saw the charger actually is is good when i put the circuit breaker back on it stays on but when I did this uh, the first time yesterday at the evening I found the same situation present the breaker again tripped so now what is the most likely uh, cause of this can there be a temporary fault of the charger which is causing a 32 amp breaker to trip charger would have to create either some sort of a shortcut that the battery is pushing let's say 40 amps through that breaker 
to cause it to trip immediately or the charger would have to push that high amount of a current the other way but this is only a 20 amp charger so in my opinion it is not very likely that there is a problem on the charger so that's why I would say it is the breaker I've ordered now a new breaker here in Thailand and I took a little bit more expensive one what I think is should be a better quality and so we have to wait two days now or three days now until I have it and I can change this breaker to be the new one and we can then see uh, if something is improving or if uh, we still find the breaker down at the end of the day it's a little bit later in the day now and the breaker is still up but I want to show you this thing is really hot to the touch let's see what the meter says if I hold it somewhere there oh my god look at this around 60 degrees Celsius the other ones 45 this one 60 wow. I think we found a reason why this breaker is tripping so this is the problem with the cheap breakers internally they almost don't have any copper for the bus bar so this is all just very flimsy and heating up really quickly and it doesn't even withstand its nominal current it's terrible so but anyways i have to wait for the new breaker let's just wait another few days it's a day later again and i already got my new breaker this time i just took a single pole breaker 32 amps it's still of course a no-name brand but here in Thailand I have the advantage I can get everything very quickly but of course all no brands but this breaker actually cost as much as the other one which is two pole so let's hope uh, this one will perform better so connected to my bus bus and uh, we can power it on so, yeah, so I will close up everything here and maybe monitor it for a day and then I should call it a fix what have we learned from this when it comes to such essential items like breakers don't go with the cheap stuff because these breakers here they have to withstand continuous currents for many many hours a day and if the breaker is crap then it will just uh, give up I had another breaker uh, failing a year ago it was a 50 amp AC breaker and a 32 amp continuous load it did essentially burn up so that one really melted away if the situation is uh, very critical then I would go with breakers from Siemens or ABB, something like this, a real quality. But as I said, if you want to save some money and you use the Chinese brands, go for the Thomson. Or for the DC breakers, you can also use these FEO breakers. And they are really much better. They cost a little bit more, but not so much more. And are still far cheaper than European brands. The power wall is functioning again. Our next project will also stay here and there will be a change here in the current measurement. So I'm going to start uh, working on this and filming this uh, within the next couple of days. Please don't make the same mistakes I do. If you find it interesting, please comment. Subscribe to the channel if you didn't it yet. Please look my uh, older videos. I have now already a ton of videos about all kind of uh, things about uh, batteries and uh, PV. Thank you for watching. I see you next time.